Well, here he is, American Nightmare. Got another fight with Brock Lesnar again. Brock screwed Cody out of the World Heavyweight Championship, and he, he, he wants a fight! He wants a fight. He, he's got one in Night of Champions. Well, one name comes in mind. These grounds, I know. This arena. This is the fabled, the very first home of Star Cave. Nice. A wonderful memory. A great amount of mutual respect. Respect that is not shared by Brock Lesnar, who has elected not to be here. Of course. But you guys are a, a fun audience, right? Well, I'm going to try one out. Not something you hear on a typical sports entertainment show, but ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the one about the scorpion and the frog? It's a simple story. Scorpion is on one side of the river, needs to get to the other side, and he asks the frog who can hop, who can swim over there. He says, can I get a ride to the other side of the river? The frog says, hell no. You'd sting me. Scorpion says, no, I wouldn't sting you because if I did, we'd both drown, so I'm not going to sting you. That logic is airtight for the frog, y'all. That works. Frog puts him on his back. Carries him across the river and halfway across, what do you think happens? He betrays him. <laughs> he him. Yep, there you go. And as the poison is filling up that frog's lungs, he asked the scorpion why. And the scorpion said, It's my nature. <laughs> it is Brock Lesnar's nature to hunt. Brock Lesnar must be hunting. But make sure, Brock, if you're the one who's hunting, let me ask you something. How's your face? Oh. oh. <gasps> I know. Brock Lesnar, you look in the mirror, you see a lion. You see the alpha male of our species. But you should also see a black eye, a set of staples. And when I look in the mirror, I see the man who put them there. I see a man who busted Brock Lesnar's face and maybe broke his spirit and beat the biggest bully in WWE history. So I gladly accept Brock Lesnar's challenge at Night of Champions. And I'm not going to go out of bounds on Brock Lesnar. There's always been this talk about his ego, his manipulation on the roster, his dates. You want to know why Brock Lesnar is on top and has been on top? Because Brock Lesnar is better than 99.9% .9 of the superstars who come in this ring. But at Backlash, Brock Lesnar was not better than me. He called it a cheap win. Oh, a wrestling counter to a wrestling move in a wrestling ring. How cheap that is. Brock, even if I had been imbued with the powers of a god and beat you in 20 seconds, you still would have hunted me because this isn't about a championship. This is about something else. This is about who is the big thing on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> the next big thing that's what they always said about Brock Lesnar. The next it's going to be Seth Rollins if he wins that World Championship. They were right. 
But eventually, Brock, what happens when they just say next? <laughs> you have conquered WWE, you have conquered sports entertainment, you have conquered this sport, but we are at the point where I need you to take your busted face, I need you to step aside, because you, sir, are not the big thing around here anymore, you are simply in my way. All right, there you go. You gotta take care of Brock again.